Chelsea Manalo is the new Miss Universe Philippines. This is huge news. Why? Because she is the first black woman to win this title. It's a really big deal in the Philippines. People are celebrating this win all over the country. Chelsea is from the town of Hermosa, Bataan. She is a model and a businesswoman. She is also a vocal advocate for diversity and inclusion. This win is a major milestone for the Philippines. It shows that the country is ready to embrace change and celebrate beauty in all its forms. For a long time, beauty standards in the Philippines have been influenced by Eurocentric ideals. This means that lighter skin, straight hair, and Western features were often seen as the ideal kind of beauty. Chelsea's win challenges these old standards. She is a beautiful woman with dark skin and natural hair. Her win tells everyone that you don't have to fit into a narrow box to be considered beautiful. This is a powerful message, especially for young Filipinas who are often bombarded with images of perfect beauty that don't look like them. Many people are hoping that Chelsea's win signals a shift in beauty standards in the Philippines. This victory is more than just a personal achievement. It represents a broader movement towards inclusivity and acceptance. For years, beauty standards in the Philippines have been narrowly defined, often favoring certain looks and backgrounds. Chelsea's win challenges these outdated norms and opens the door for a more diverse representation of beauty. They see it as a sign that the country is becoming more accepting of diversity. Representation matters. When people from various backgrounds see themselves reflected in the media and in positions of influence, it fosters a sense of belonging and validation. This is especially important in a multicultural society like the Philippines, where diversity is a strength that should be celebrated. When people see someone who looks like them achieving great things, it can be incredibly inspiring. It sends a powerful message that they too can reach for the stars and achieve their dreams. This kind of representation can have a profound impact on young minds, encouraging them to pursue their passions and break barriers. Chelsea's win could inspire a whole new generation of Filipinas to embrace their natural beauty and chase their dreams. It encourages young women to be proud of who they are and to celebrate their unique features. This shift in mindset can lead to greater self-confidence and a more positive self-image among Filipinas. It's not just about beauty pageants either. The impact of this win extends far beyond the realm of pageantry. It has the potential to influence various sectors of society, promoting diversity and inclusion in all areas. This win could lead to more diversity in all areas of Filipino society, from media and entertainment to business and politics. By seeing more diverse faces in influential positions, it can inspire systemic change and encourage more inclusive practices across different industries. This is a significant step towards a more equitable and representative society, where everyone has the opportunity to succeed regardless of their background. While many people are celebrating Chelsea's win, there have also been some negative reactions. Some people are resistant to change and still cling to those old beauty standards. It's important to remember that change takes time. There will always be people who are afraid of anything new or different. The important thing is that we keep having conversations about diversity and inclusion. Chelsea's win has sparked these conversations in a big way. It's an opportunity to challenge old ways of thinking and create a more inclusive society for everyone. Section 5. Colorism. A deep-rooted issue. One of the issues that Chelsea's win has brought to light is colorism. This is not just a minor issue, but a deeply ingrained societal problem that affects many aspects of life, including sports. Colorism is a form of discrimination where people are treated differently based on their skin tone. It is a prejudice that exists within the same ethnic or racial group, often favoring lighter skin over darker skin. Sadly, colorism has been a problem in the Philippines for a long time. It is a legacy of colonialism and has been perpetuated by media and societal standards that equate lighter skin with higher status and desirability. Lighter skin has often been associated with beauty, success, and even intelligence. This harmful stereotype has led to a culture where people with darker skin are unfairly judged and marginalized. This has led to discrimination against Filipinos with darker skin. They often face biases in various areas, including employment, education, and social interactions. The impact of colorism is profound and far-reaching. Chelsea's win is a powerful statement against colorism. 
Her success challenges the deeply rooted prejudices and shows that talent and determination are not confined to any particular skin tone. It shows that beauty comes in all shades and that skin tone should never be a barrier to success or happiness. Chelsea's victory is a reminder that we must continue to fight against colorism and promote inclusivity and equality in all areas of life. The world of sports, including cricket, has the power to bring people together and break down barriers. By celebrating diversity and challenging stereotypes, we can create a more inclusive and fair society. Let Chelsea's win inspire us to look beyond skin color and appreciate the unique qualities that each individual brings to the table. Together, we can work towards a future where everyone is valued and respected, regardless of their skin tone. In conclusion, colorism is a deep-rooted issue that requires our attention and action. Chelsea's triumph is a step in the right direction, but there is still much work to be done. Let us all commit to challenging colorism and promoting equality in every aspect of our lives. Together, we can make a difference and create a world where everyone, regardless of their skin tone, has the opportunity to succeed and thrive. Section 6. Personal Stories of Racism Many Filipinos have shared their personal stories about experiencing racism and colorism. These stories are often heartbreaking. People have talked about being bullied for their skin color, being told to lighten their skin, and even being passed over for jobs or opportunities because of their skin tone. These stories remind us that racism is a real problem in the Philippines and around the world. It's important to listen to these stories, learn from them, and work together to create a world where everyone feels safe and respected. Section 7. Embracing Diversity in Beauty Chelsea's win is a celebration of diversity in beauty. It signifies a broader acceptance and recognition of the myriad forms that beauty can take. Her victory is not just a personal achievement, but a milestone for everyone who has ever felt marginalized or overlooked because they didn't fit the conventional standards of beauty. It shows that beauty is not about fitting into a box. Beauty is expansive, inclusive, and diverse. It is about breaking free from the narrow definitions that have long constrained us and embracing a more holistic and inclusive understanding of what it means to be beautiful. It's about being unique and embracing what makes you special. Each person has their own story, their own journey, and their own unique attributes that contribute to their beauty. It's these differences that make us interesting and vibrant. The Philippines is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities. This rich tapestry of backgrounds and traditions creates a unique and dynamic society where diversity is not just accepted but celebrated. This diversity is what makes the country so vibrant and beautiful. The blend of different cultures, languages, and traditions creates a rich and colorful mosaic that is truly unique to the Philippines. It's time to celebrate all Filipinos, regardless of their skin color, hair type, or facial features. Every individual contributes to the beauty of the nation, and it's important to recognize and honor that. True beauty comes from within. It's not just about physical appearance, but also about the qualities that make us who we are. Kindness, empathy, and compassion are the true markers of beauty. It's about confidence, kindness, and compassion. When we carry ourselves with confidence and treat others with kindness and compassion, we radiate a beauty that is far more profound and lasting than mere physical appearance. When we embrace our own uniqueness and celebrate the uniqueness of others, we create a more inclusive and accepting world. By appreciating the diverse qualities that each person brings to the table, we foster a sense of community and belonging. We make the world a more beautiful place. A world where everyone feels valued and accepted for who they are is a world that is truly beautiful. Let's continue to celebrate diversity in all its forms and work towards a more inclusive and harmonious society. Section 8. Celebrating Chelsea Manalo. Let's give it up for Chelsea Manalo. She is a role model for Filipinas everywhere. She is smart, beautiful, and compassionate. Chelsea is using her platform to speak out against injustice and inspire others to chase their dreams. She is proof that anything is possible if you set your mind to it and work hard. Congratulations, Chelsea. We are so proud of you.